Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is October 3rd, 2020, and I have something new on my board today. It's the win streak. Now, let me give you a few caveats, and then I'll give you a review of what I think about this and the best way to use it, plus a little bit of experimenting I've done in those results. First of all, just to let you know, this is available for me today. It doesn't mean it's going to be available for everybody. Some folks may already be using this and may have had it for a while. Some folks may not get it yet or may not get it ever. That's the nature of King. They institute these special events and mini games and they form test groups and they give them to some and not to others. Also, we can each have differences. These are the items that I am supposed to be able to accumulate if I win level after level consecutively. But that doesn't mean that these will be what everybody else gets. Just so you know, King doesn't give a way to opt in or out of any of these test groups. Sometimes it is based on the device or browser that you use, however. I'm currently playing through Facebook Game Room, and I'm on my profile where I'm in the 3000s. Now I have another profile where I'm in the 5000s, close to 6000, and it's not available to me. It doesn't show up at all. So just based on the profile, and I did test this out and tried it on Facebook Game Room, and I still didn't get it. So based on the profile, this particular profile, I don't get that special event. There's no way that I know to prompt it. King isn't very consistent about a lot of things, but they're very consistent about their information here, which is you cannot opt in or out. So I'm sorry if you don't have it. There's no advice I can give you except try in a different device or browser and see if that can prompt it. All right, so that's the information about how and where and when you can get it. It's just random if you have it great, or if you uh, think you might get it in the future, it's important information here, so let's proceed. So first of all, I want to give you my review. I haven't actually played this, and so I can't give you an excellent review based on complete information, but I can give you a pretty good review based on prior experience, both with Candy Crush and with other King games, where we have had a win streak available. Like in Candy Crush Jelly and in Candy Crush Soda, I've played those games and I've had win streak opportunities. From what I remember of those, we need to beat these consecutively. So if I beat one level, I get a free striped candy to start the next level. I get to start with a free stripe. I get to use it at any, or it, it shows up at the very beginning on the board. Now, if I'm able to win, then I get a streak of two, and I get to start the next with not only a stripe, but also a wrapped and a color bomb. If I lose, then I go back to the first position, or to zero position, basically, and I get nothing, and I have to beat a level, and then I'll get the stripe, and then if I beat a second level, I'll get to here, and so on and so forth. Notice that this one, I add a, um, a plus three moves, so I would get to start the level. If it starts with 27 moves, I would get to start with 30 moves if I can beat three in a row. If I beat four, it looks like it's the very same packet of goodies. I don't get anything additional. And then if I beat that, then I get two wrapped candies and two color bombs, it appears. It doesn't look like I would also get two stripes. Usually the striped and wrapped are together, but this indicates to me that they're separated. So uh, that looks like what is going to happen. Now the experimenting I did is to go back to level 3000 because that's a super easy level to beat. And I played it hoping that maybe it would trigger having beaten one consecutively. It did not for me. So that means that for my profile here, I have to beat new levels to get this. Some people may find out that they can beat old levels and still accumulate these uh, and then start. That's a possibility. I'm not saying I'm sure that that happens. I haven't heard of anyone yet who's had this special event or minigame. 
but that's a possibility based on other things that King has tried out. Just because it's not in my realm of possibility for my test group doesn't mean other people might not be able to. It's worth a couple minutes just to try and see, in my opinion. Experimenting is one way to find out what all benefits you can get. So, uh, and then the other thing I know about these is sometimes we get so fixated. I mean, sometimes these can help. Having all of this to start a new level can be extremely helpful. And so it's uh, important for some people to try to reach that fifth position and maintain it as long as possible. But I've seen people blow through huge stores of boosters trying to not lose this fifth spot. And in my opinion, I don't know that it's worth it. Some levels are just really hard to win when you've got boosters. It can actually be detrimental. Not very many, but there are some cases where that exists where it's harder because of your specials, or some are so fixed, like level 3000 is a good example. That level is so fixed that there's no room for specials. So let's say I were working my way up to level 3000. It wouldn't even be a help to me to use it in level 3000. I would still, I believe, get the rewards for the next level that I accomplish. But level 3000 is so static this is how it's set up. There's not room for any additional uh, specials, and so it wouldn't be beneficial to use it on a level like this. And on some levels, it's actually detrimental. So my recommendation is to use it as a wonderful opportunity, if you have it, to not worry if you don't, because you should have other special events and uh, mini games that you can use, and not to be so fixated by continuing this that you blow through those other boosters that you've been able to accumulate because then it be this becomes a problem instead of a help. So that's my review and my information. Also, I would invite you to leave your experiences in the comments. And for those of you watching, to also read other people's comments. I've got the very best viewers and best subscribers in the world and uh, very, very helpful. And so if you've got information that you think is going to contribute to the body of information here so we can be better informed, please put that below. And of course, if you have any questions, list those as well. If this was helpful, I would ask that you consider liking and subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.